are made with two parts of sharp sand, one part of fine. And, and of course the aggregates can be limestone aggregate as well, which has a real benefit. But, um, so I'll, I'll just do the, this is the ordinary method, but in a, in a micro scale. So just mix them up, push that aside. So I've got three parts of aggregate, and then I'm going to use the Singleton Birch granulated chalk line. You can see how dangerous this stuff is. Um, but, so, and that was a mounded level, obviously, to take count of the voids. Um, and then you, what they'll say to you in the part, I mean, the masons would know how much water that needed to make it either a powder or a, a just beyond. Um, but in our experience, it's about uh, oof, one and a half times is about enough in volume of water to the volume of the lime. Now, the other thing that they all say is that you must give it all the water it needs in one go or constantly from sprinkling. What you mustn't do is give it half the water and then when it's really slaking, give it another batch of water because you chill the lime. This is a constant. And what that means is that you get, you get loads of little lumps that will never ever mix in. And it makes you like you're more too short. There's not enough active binder. Um, so I'm gonna put in just a bit, one and a half. And, uh, and then, now I, I should a word of warning, if you use the Calvites, the tarmac version of this, granulated, the moment I put any water to it, it would have been firing bullets at you. It's very reactive. It's a modern high temperature lime. It's a great lime, but you couldn't do this with it safely. You'd be all ducking for cover. <laughs> and I would too, actually. The first time I tried that immersion method, I, I used some granulated. <laughs> so I held the thing under it, it was firing out bloody water at me. I just had to throw it and run. <laughs> it doesn't normally happen. Okay. So, and the Singleton Birch is less reactive. So the chalk line is less reactive. Um, you could use kibble for this as well. Uh, but So not much is happening at the moment, except suddenly it's starting to crack, so it's expanding, it's started to cook. I haven't got my meat thermometer with me now. Um, if we didn't, if we'd given that, say, half the water it needed, that can reach in there in a minute, that can reach up to 300 degrees centigrade. Mm. Uh, however, if you give it, this is what I've realized, I haven't read all these books, if you give it just what it needs, the temperature is going to be around 100 degrees centigrade or 120, but not much more than that. So it's reaching that minimum temperature. Um, so the less water that you give it, the hotter it can be. It doesn't need to get that hot, is the point I'm making. So, and they all say in the old text to keep closing down the, the cracks, to keep the spirit of the lime in. There's a lot of uh, mysticism in this. <laughs> but basically what they mean is to keep the temperature in. That's what they want to maximize the temperature within the range of giving it the right stuff. So that's, that one's going nicely. So I'll start another one off over here. And especially because we're around here, I'm gonna put chalk in that one. So 